Despite the fact they dominate the consumer videography drone market, DJI continues to innovate at just about every price point. Case in point, the new Mavic Air 2, an update to the popular Mavic Air released in 2018. This quadcopter boasts impressively long flight times, a new 48 megapixel CMOS sensor, a new controller, and DJI's OcuSync 2.0 and AirSense technologies, all for just $799. It's been a while since we took a look inside a drone, so we're going to dismantle this thing to see how it works and how easy repairs will be. But first, a little x-ray imagery from our friends at Creative Electron. In this x-ray shot with the battery removed, we can see the wires running every which way, an impressively dense motherboard, and thankfully what looks like a lot of screws. More than anything though, x-rays like this always remind us how intricate and complex modern technology is. Now let's take this thing apart. First to go, the quick release low noise folding props. Next, the battery comes out with just the push of a button. If only smartphone batteries came out this easily. Like some of DJI's other drones, the Mavic Air 2 has legs that fold in, greatly reducing its footprint for easy travel. The hinge mechanisms seem robust, but the question will be how easy are the arms to replace should they loosen or break in a crash. The plastic sensor cover on the bottom of the drone is held in place by six 1.5mm hex screws, and underneath the cover we can see the four downward facing sensors, two vision sensors on either side of the LED, and two time of flight sensors at the back of the drone. Before we get to those sensors though, let's see if we can get this gimbal out. The Air 2 and most other DJI drones have an exposed gimbal during flight, meaning it could be the first thing to hit the ground, or a tree in a crash. Luckily, it doesn't seem too hard to access, just one bracket, a few screws, and a couple press connect cables. Then we can wrestle it free. The camera at the end of this gimbal comprises a half inch 48 megapixel CMOS sensor capable of recording 4K video up to 60 frames per second and a f2.8 lens with an equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters, giving you about an 84 degree field of view. The vision sensors come out after we disconnect their cables and underneath them, a few screws hold down the first of two circuit boards, this one with its own cute little fan and heatsink. These drones do an insane amount of processing while they're in the air. They're constantly taking in and processing data from their sensors, as well as recording video, receiving inputs from the controller, transmitting video and positioning data back to your smartphone, and driving the motors to stay in the air. All that in mind, we're not surprised to see a beefy thermal solution like this. Behind those shields, we find the H6 processor, some SK Hynix RAM, and the 8GB of Samsung memory that serves as the internal storage just in case you forget your SD card. Rather than dig out the second board from here, we flip things over to try and remove the upper case. We find some obvious screws in the battery well, and then some less obvious ones. Two in the front underneath the front faceplate, two hidden behind some panels, and two in the back, and those require a fixed blade driver, so have one of those on hand. The upper case removal reveals another board which looks to be home to the GPS hardware. This little board is also where the front facing sensors are attached. Remove the sensor, then that board can come out. The rear-facing obstacle detection sensor is still hanging on to the body of our Mavic, but remove a couple screws and it lifts right out. A little more disassembly confirms our suspicions the motors are soldered to the last board that remains in the Mavic. Solder gives the motors a more efficient connection to power than a removable connector would, but it's still unfortunate for some fixers who don't have a soldering setup at home. It's also a bummer that these wires are fixed on either end of the legs, meaning that should this drone break a leg in a crash, you'll need to re-solder the motor cables just to put a new leg on. That said, it is nice that all the motor cables run to this fairly sparse board instead of the main board, so you don't need to worry about accidentally ruining some important silicon while you're replacing a leg or a burnt motor. With all the exciting bits out of our Mavic Air 2, it's time to give it a score. On the one hand, its modular construction and liberal use of screws makes for simple disassembly. Gimbal replacement is especially easy. The motors are soldered to their own spacious board, making the most difficult repairs slightly less daunting. On the other hand, those motor wires complicate the otherwise simple leg replacement procedure, and the new controller, mostly disassembled off-camera, was less straightforward to disassemble with hidden screws and glued-on battery cell connectors. With all that in mind, we're giving the DJI Mavic Air 2 a 6 out of 10 on a repairability scale. Thanks for watching our Mavic Air 2 teardown. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know in the comments if you want to see more drone teardowns like this one. We know it's not a drone, it's a quadcopter.